Hello, and welcome to the first installment of Musicians at Home with the Lancaster Symphony Orchestra. Uh, my name is Guy McIntosh, and I, in addition to being a trumpet player, I'm also the general manager of the Lancaster Symphony. So I'm doing the first one of these as kind of a guinea pig, and also to kind of let you know how they're going to run. Uh, we have all the musicians uh, making a series of videos at home. Some of those videos might include uh, a short snippet at the beginning. Um, what I just played was uh, the intro to West End Blues that was made famous by Louis Armstrong. Uh, when COVID-19 first started and everyone was quarantined in their homes, trumpet players across the country and across the world started releasing that segment of music and challenging other trumpet players to release their own. Uh, so it kind of went viral on social media with um, trumpet players playing that little snippet of music. Um, some musicians uh, in our orchestra might do a duet, uh, either playing with themselves and recording the different parts or having other members of the orchestra join in. Uh, we could have some trios or some other chamber music. Uh, we're even working on a a program that would include all the musicians of the orchestra and we would put them all together for a video to share with all of you. Um, so while we're all at home, we wanted to give you kind of a glimpse into the lives of the musicians of the Lanc Lancaster Symphony, what we've been up to. Uh, we've also sent out a series of questions for our musicians to answer that we think are would be inspiring for the next generation of musicians, uh, young people that are learning instruments at this time. Uh, so we hope you'll enjoy them. I'm going to go into answering a couple questions um, to give you a sample of what's what other musicians might be doing. Uh, so I started playing trumpet in fifth grade. We had trumpets around the house. My sister played trumpet. My dad played trumpet, my grandfather played trumpet, and shortly after I started playing trumpet, my little brother started playing trumpet. So we had trumpets around the house, so that was the instrument I was given. Um, through grade school uh, and then into high school, I started taking private lessons, and then I went to Towson University for three years. And there, I actually studied with Louis Singelke, who is the principal trumpet of the Lancaster Symphony. Um, so I studied with him for three years, and then I moved to London. And I was at the Royal Academy of Music for three years and graduated from the Royal Academy. Then I came back uh, to the United States and shortly after returning home, started freelancing around the area, um, became a member of the Lancaster Symphony and other orchestras around the region. Um, I've had lots of teachers that have had lasting impacts on my career. Um, probably the one that got me started and on the track of becoming a professional musician uh, would probably be Brian Strawley. Um, he's actually a member of the Richmond Symphony and uh, he's who kind of got me into really practicing and got me a solid foundation on my instrument that allowed me to get into music school and kind of gave me the spark that loved classical music. And since returning home, um, and I think this is probably the case with a lot of professional musicians, is that we study with people who are currently performing. Um, a lot of us have studied with professional musicians, and then if we continue on the track um, of becoming musicians ourselves, eventually we play with them. So I'm, I've had the good fortune of being able to play with Brian um, in different orchestras, and um, Louis Ngelke, who I studied with at Towson, is another teacher of mine that I now sit next to in a section. Um, so I imagine that's the case with a lot of uh, instrumentalists that continue on, that they end up playing and sitting next to their former teachers. So my practice schedule has changed quite a bit over the years. Um, when I was in grade school and high school, I probably practiced maybe an hour to an hour and a half a day. Um, usually tried to play every day, but there were certainly days that I didn't practice. Um, into college is when I really started practicing more. Um, so gradually more and more throughout college. Uh, I think uh, a couple months before my audition for the Royal Academy, I was playing probably about six hours a day. Um, and you, you space that out throughout the day, so you might practice in the morning, do a little warm-up, and then have breakfast, and then play 
30 minutes, 45 minutes, and then take a break and come back to it and do that throughout the day. Um, and I would practice into the wee hours in the morning when I was getting ready for auditions. Um, and then continued practicing quite a bit while I was in London. Uh, when I came home, um, you get a job and you start working, things get busy, you start um, kind of establishing yourself and as you get more gigs, it's harder and harder to practice that much because you might be playing in a rehearsal for two and a half to five hours a day and you won't have that much time left over to practice. Uh, so you've got to kind of find time in between to practice the music for the next week, uh, for the next gig that you're going to do. Um, and then lately, since uh, becoming the general manager of the Lancaster Symphony, it has been a little harder to practice, but I found a little bit more time in quarantine to pick up my trumpet. So the trumpet is a brass instrument, um, along with French horns, trombones, and tubas, uh, we make up the brass family. And then there's multiple different types of trumpets. Uh, this is a C trumpet, but we also play B flat trumpet and D trumpet, E flat trumpet, there's piccolo trumpet that's keyed in A and B flat, and then there's other keyed trumpets. Um, C trumpet's probably what I play most often, but different pieces of music might require different trumpets. Thank you so much for joining us today. We look forward to the time when we can once again perform live music for you. But we hope you will enjoy these videos that are going to come out every Thursday uh, so you can meet the musicians that make up our incredible symphony orchestra here in Lancaster. Um, we should be releasing information about next season soon. We are continuing to monitor the COVID-19 situation as closely as possible. As soon as it is safe to do so for our patrons, our musicians, our staff and volunteers, we will be back. We're going to continue to do everything that is in our power to maintain Lancaster's vibrant art scene. And for the time being, that means releasing great content for our community to enjoy. Thank you again for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you. Yay.